My feeling that maybe if I talked about the problems of being black and physically handicapped in the world of white aviation, it might give you sort of another perspective. I fell in love with aviation as a kid of 10 in 1926. But the following year, Lindbergh flew the Atlantic. Fate has many ways to work her wonders. Life's a book that none of us can read. When Lindy won his fame and people cheered his name, little did he know where it would lead. Well, like other kids at that age, I built models and read magazines and must realize that my family and my friends didn't think too much of a kid. 12 years old getting interested in aviation when everybody knew the doors were closed as far as blacks are concerned. Uh, the next thing I was looking forward to, of course, was making, taking my first airplane ride. I was 14 years old when I saved up $3. There's two seats in the front, pilot sits in the back, and it's an open cockpit airplane. So we started up the engine, and my fright knew no bounds. <laughs> Noisy, vibration, but the minute the wheels left the ground, all of a sudden that vibration that you're feeling with the wheels rolling along the ground, all of a sudden it stops. And there you are in, in flight. I had built all together five airplanes. All the world, they say, just loves a lover. Everybody smiles when joy bells ring. Our eagle from on high must come down from the sky to find the love one heart alone can bring. I wish I had the words to describe the feelings that I had during the 20 years that I worked at Wright Field as a research engineer, in which, during which I traveled 138 times on behalf of the United States Air Force. I remember very vividly the first time I was invited to go to France and speak to the Aeronautics Administration there and near the Champs-Élysées in, in Paris. And here I am flying in a Boeing 707, flying that same route that Lindbergh flew in 1927. My kid living on Stanford Street in Detroit, Michigan, and here I am flying to Paris. I really couldn't believe it. Lindy, gee, that was lucky, Lindy's lucky day. 